Smell that? It's time for a swing dance reaction video. No. 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 Yes! Greetings and salutations. Uh, welcome to Street Smart Swing. My name is Jamin Jackson, also known as the Galactic Swing Dance Umpire. <laughs> and I'm super excited to be scrutinizing another Lindy Hop video. This one looks a little obscure. I saw the thumbnail and I saw these gigantic heads and I had to click on it, but I want to get my initial reaction to this because I was a little scared looking at those heads. I thought they were real people and there was something wrong with them, but then I thought that's just impossible. So I have to click it, but we're going to jump right into this video. I'm going to tell you exactly what I thought about it afterward. Let's do it. Hey. Okay. I like to play on words. That's weird. Oh, their heads are behind it. Oh, I couldn't see that. That was weird. <clears throat> <laughs> oh, that's so clever. That won't be all of us, folks. <laughs> oh, that's good, that's good. <laughs> they still have it after 50 years. Take another bow, okay. <laughs> Oh, that's great. It's a daily exercise, all the bowing. Yeah, the audience is like, okay. Okay, get off stage. <laughs> that was great. Let's talk about it. Well, I'm going to tell you right now, I really enjoyed that. I will have to admit, it is a bit off-putting. I probably wouldn't watch that right before I go to bed much like many other things like Claymation and Rudolph and the Abominable Snowman and Thomas the Train, a lot of those cartoons, particularly the, the earlier ones that had a lot of Claymation, you know, the animation and stuff where as a kid you can't get those images and those movements out of your mind and you go to bed and you want to make sure your closet is completely closed, so you don't have a crack of darkness peeking out and one of those giant heads coming out and making that claymation movement towards your bed and like gnawing on you and oh, these images were interesting. Those giant heads, I thought their heads were first in it and there was something behind their heads. I couldn't figure that out until I had to look, look a little further, but that was strange. That was strange. And I probably won't show my son. He probably, he's, he's six. He's in jujitsu, but that would probably bother him. And it would be a weird aspect of what would bother him. It's like, his shoes, scary. Not the head, it's the shoe. <laughs> oh, man. I, I really love when swing dancers like do performances that are really different and require a significant amount of ingenuity. And this did. I don't know if they purchased those heads or they made those heads. But the idea of putting these heads on a body that's connected to yours was ingenious. I would have loved to see like a full on routine 
maybe even like a music video with those kind of characters or even something that's animated like a claymation thing for halloween and kind of showing characters like this for you know wendy hop and i just i love when people take the art form seriously and they start to do different things with it because ultimately it, it exposes the dance to people who don't really know anything about swing dancing if i saw these characters uh, in my musical theater days, it would have turned me on to swing music just because of that song by, you know, I think it was Fletcher Henderson. I think it was that version of the song just because of that and then doing silly, goofy things. I love that. I love that. What did you guys think about this one? I hope the I hope these dancers are doing more of this kind of stuff. It looks like this was in France. But I don't know. I don't know. I I love it. I wish every like event would have some kind of thing like this where people could display their talent and kind of show you know who they are as artists uh in a respectable way i mean come on people have like burlesque at their events which you know i have second thoughts on that and i wouldn't want to bring my kids to an event to see that but i don't mind if it's like late night or something but stuff like this that's really interesting it might terrify my kids but I think it really highlights just the diversity of people who get involved with this pedestrian friendly art form. That's the cool part about Lindy Hop is you can get into it and not necessarily have to be a professional dancer like me when I came in, but you can also be someone who's serious about the art form and want to pursue a career in that. And I think that's really cool too. I think that's really cool. Um, let me know what you guys thought about this one in the comment section. I thought it was really different and I hope to see more stuff like this. And uh, we'll see what happens in the future. With that said, if I don't see you guys in one of my you know, classes online, hopefully um, I'll see some of your comments in the next reaction video. Take care.